across Sittingbourne and everywhere in between. Check out the 106.9 SFM website at www.sfmradio.com. On FM in Sittingbourne and online around the world, this is 106.9 SFM. It was announced that the veteran BBC radio presenter Dave Cash died at the age of 74. The former Radio 1 DJ from Hollingbourne here in Kent recently celebrated 50 years of broadcasting. He worked at Radio London and Radio Luxembourg before becoming one of the first DJs on BBC Radio 1 alongside Tony Blackburn and John Peel. Here's Dave Cash telling us about how he got that wonderful gravelly voice. I went to Canada when I was five, came back to England when I was 11, went back to Canada at 16, so I was always the boy with the funny accent. And a very good morning to you, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to a Saturday's day of broadcasting from the Big L. This is yours truly, Dave Cash, taking you through on the rabbit patch until 9 o'clock. 247 Radio 1 Dave Cash will be back at 4 o'clock next week, but now the time is 5 o'clock, and here's Alan Freeman with Pick of the Pops. Yes, it's number one. It's Top of the Pops. All right, ladies and gentlemen, up from number 15 of last week to number 10 of this week, pictures of Max Tickman, the status quo. Fourteen minutes to seven o'clock, and Kenny and Cash will be down there at Carnaby Street today at 12.30. What are we going to be doing, rushing up and down the street with a pancake? Yes, I figured if we got one pancake between us and had Annie chase us. Right. C-O-D, 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 C-O-D. You heard some wonderful clips there from Dave's time at Radio London, the pirate radio ship that was anchored just off Frinton-on-Sea, also known as the Big L. It was his time at Capital Radio, and then when he was part of the launch team at BBC Radio 1. Paul Chandler worked with Dave Cash back in the 1980s at Radio Invicta. And Paul, you only need to read the outpouring of love from fans and those who worked with Dave to realise that not only was he a great guy on the air, he was also a great guy off air as well. Oh, absolutely. He, he was definitely one of the radio industry's nice guys. And I've read a lot of tributes uh, uh, since he passed away on on Twitter and on Facebook um, from people in the industry who've worked with him who and we all agree he, he, he was just a, a really great guy to know and um, a fa- as well as a fantastic broadcaster and you're still very much involved with radio broadcasting today how different were things back then in the 1980s when you used to work with Dave well obviously the technology was a lot different and uh, it was still uh, vinyl discs that we had to queue up in on, on record players in the studio and we had to play cartridges which which were plastic boxes containing tape which played out the jingles and the commercials and stuff like that and, and now of course it's all on, on computer and digitised but uh, of course Dave had grown up with all this stuff on the pirate ships and uh, and, and obviously he was he was very uh, a real technician in the studio he knew how to how to work the equipment to get the best out of it and, uh, and, and he was very at home in the studio. I first got to know him I was a presenter on uh, Invicta Radio and and uh, before that, I've been a journalist there, and uh, I was doing the lunchtime show, and Dave was brought in by Michael Bucht, who was the boss of Invicta, and Michael had worked with Dave at Capital. Michael had been the first uh, uh, boss of Capital Radio in London, and uh, had hired Dave there, and of course had partnered him with uh, the great 
Kenny Everett uh, with the Kenny and Cash show, which was a legendary show, and I'd be, I was a real fan of that show. And, um, and so when Michael moved to Invicta and brought Dave with him, uh, it was uh, really interesting for me because I didn't know what to expect when I met this guy, and I was a very young broadcaster then, and uh, he had such a reputation uh, behind him, and um, he you know what with the pirates and radio one and and capital and i just didn't know what to expect and when i met him of course he couldn't have been nicer um the friendly uh, down to earth uh, funny and of course with this fantastic voice of his that that uh, you know still makes uh, uh, tingles go up my spine when 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 i when i listen to him and how would you describe that style of his that he had he, he was one of these people, you know, where some people put on a bit of a persona when they're on the radio. They put on a radio voice and they become sort of big and, uh, you know, brash and zany and wacky. But actually, Dave, um, uh, very much a, a showbiz guy and had had this fantastically long, rich career, but he still retained that ability to talk on a one-to-one -one basis. And actually, he had that rare thing which you find very few people have they're the same on air as they are off air and and they don't put on the act they are they're just talking to you and that's why he was so successful and and, and that's why he he was so loved by listeners and people in the radio industry uh, themselves big personality big voice is that a generation of radio presenters that we're starting to lose well, I don't know about that. I think it's fashionable to say that we're losing people like that and, and, and where, are the, where is the next generation going to come from? Um, and I think there is some truth in that uh, because a lot of radio stations nowadays play a lot of music and uh, the DJs very much take a back seat to the music. Um, but having said that, you still have larger-than-life characters on the radio, such as Chris Moyles, such as Nick Ferrari, and um, uh, Grimmy on Radio 1, and, and, of course, Chris Evans on Radio 2, who has the biggest audience of any uh, breakfast show on the air in the UK. And, you know, we still have 9 out of 10 people listen to radio every day, which and that hasn't changed for many years, and everyone's predicted over many, many years the death of radio, you know, when television came along, when videos came along, when, you know, the iPhone came along, when all the streaming music services came along, everyone was predicting the death of radio, but it survived, and it always will, and the reason I believe it's uh, so potent a medium is that it's a very intimate medium it's a one-to-one -one medium where where someone is talking to you on the radio and that is very powerful and that is always why radio will succeed because it can find people who can and promote people who can have that intimacy intimate conversation with the audience dave cash personified that really did he was a great guy paul chandler well listen thank you very much indeed for joining me this morning thanks jason Sittingbourne and everywhere in between. Check out the 106.9 SFM website at www.sfmradio.com. On FM in Sittingbourne and online around the world, this is 106.9 SFM. We'll take a break, we'll see you soon.